Hello, and welcome to my YouTube channel. Please ensure to like, share, and subscribe. And also click the bell notification in the top right hand corner to be made aware anytime I upload tutorials or videos to YouTube. Alright, let's craft together. Hey guys, today I am going to take you back into our one stop shop, which is Creative Fabrica. This is where if you have a monthly or yearly membership with Creative Fabrica, you can get access to all of your fonts. You can get access to digital art where you can generate and create your own digital art, get inspiration from others, all types of graphic. And if you have a monthly or yearly membership, then everything pretty much that you can find in here will be free to you. There are some things that still may cost like PLRs and things like that. But for the most part, everything, just about everything is going to be free for you for that month or that year. What I would highly recommend is to go with the yearly membership because you can just pay one time and forget about it. Okay. And trust me, you're going to find a lot of the things that you're working on. You can find help inside of Creative Fabrica with that particular project, okay? So the first thing I'm gonna show you here today is when you are working on t-shirts and you're not sure, you, you're not a designer, a graphic designer, and that's the hardest part for you is piecing together a t-shirt or you know you have to go to Etsy and buy you know someone's SVG to pull it together or you're Googling, looking for things. Guys, you can come right to your one-stop shop, Creative Fabrica, and come to the search field and just type in t-shirt. Now t-shirt is going to be spelled so many different ways. Some people put the hyphen in between the T and the S. Some people just type out straight t-shirt, you know, but just get comfortable with whatever your search, you know, mechanism is the way you type t-shirt in. Okay. But I'm just going to type in T hyphen shirt and I'm going to enter. And you can see all of the different designs that are already out here, guys. You have graphics, fonts, embroidery, bundles, crafts, classes, all in re uh, regards or um, relating to t-shirts, because that's what we type in. And so it's even broken down into categories, crafts, illustrations, t-shirt designs, print templates, pr product mock-ups, you name it. So you're going to find it out here, guys. This is where you can come one place to find what you need for help. Now we're getting ready to go into the Halloween season. You know, here's this design that I've been seeing all over TikTok, you know, and people are purchasing. You know, they're doing t-shirts, they're putting it on tumblers, you know, they're putting it everywhere, you know, and it's already already created for you in here. And you get, you know, different variations of it. Look at this, 130 black woman t-shirt. How many of us are looking for, you know, black art? And we need some inspiration. But we're in mid-journey. And mid-journey has us in the chokehold. That's what I like to say, guys. Because we can't get out once we start creating in mid-journey. But here you have someone that has... 130 black women t-shirts mid-journey prompts and we're out here looking at prompt guides and paying $17 when you can come right into Creative Fabrica and get that okay so let's download this and we're going to see what we get so once I download I come to my downloads folder I'm going to take and unzip this file. Anytime you see a zipper, guys, that means you need to extract that file in order to use it. So I'm going to extract all. And just that quick, we have the prompts for MidJourney. There is no reason that you have to pay, you know, somebody 
a certain amount of money just to get Gronk. Okay. So this is what the file looked like. T-shirt designs, guys, can you imagine? Or placing them on a journal. Already created for you. All right. So that's that. And then we're going to go to this PDF. Need a prompt. There you go. Right there. All the prompts that you need, guys. They've given it to you right here. All right, so you are, you're going to get, for this particular file, guys, you're getting the images that's already been generated off of these prompts. And then you can take and you can copy the prompt, take it over to Discord, and pop that baby right into Discord. And, you know, you can add on to it or you can generate it just like they created it for you. You didn't have to type anything. You didn't have to go to chat G GPT, you know, but hey, you can build on this. So I'm going to show you how you can build on these prompts in chat GPT. We didn't have to think about what we wanted to type in. We got a prompt guide right there for us that we got from our one-stop shop. Images, 150 of them already created for you. Prompts already created for you. Beautiful. Look at that, guys. And all you did was download that file that's it gorgeous all right so i said 150 i stand corrected it's 130 but again you paid for you paid for um creative fabrica and basically this is going to pay you back right there <laughs> <laughs> okay because you got 130 black women t-shirts already designed already ready to go OK, in addition to it, you got the prompt guide that you can continue to build on. So we could go to ChatGPT. Let me see where I have my ChatGPT at do, 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 right here. All right. And we can tell ChatGPT to create even more prompts based off of that one. Right, guys. So I'm going to go up and I'm going to do a little copying from my previous prompts. So let's say that I wanted to um, get ChatGPT to continue to build on to that prompt that I just took from our one-stop shop. So I'm gonna tell ChatGPT, please write generative art prompts based on the initial prompt I enter. Ask me for the art prompt, then write 10 new prompts based on the initial prompt. I want you to start it with the forward slash imagine because you know we have to put that in we can make it easier on ourselves by ha having chat gpt to include that in the prompt that it gives us so that we don't have to type that in every time um, do not include any punctuation please include aspect ratio 18 16 this is if you're doing tumblers guys if you're creating tumblers you're telling chat gpt to give you um 10 tumblr wrap designs or prompts for tumblr wrap designs okay based off of the the information that you enter okay so once we enter that chat gpt comes back and of course here to help you with your art prompts please provide the initial prompt that you want us to use basically so we can go back to where we were in um got so many files open give me a minute here we're going to go back over to discord and we're going to take that prompt that we just took out of our prompt guide that we got free 
on Creative Fabrica because you have that month, that yearly membership, right? And we're going to go over to ChatGPT. And we are going to paste that baby in. All right. So now we're asking ChatGPT to give us 10 additional prompts that we didn't even have to put any thought process into because we got that that um, prompt free out of Creative Fabrica because you have that yearly membership, right? And all you have to do is go ahead and submit that or enter it. And ChatGPT, just like that, is giving you 10 additional prompts that you can use based off of that one free prompt that you just got from your one-stop shop in Creative Fabrica. And now you have 10 Tumblr wrap prompts that you can use. And it's just that easy, guys. You can take that prompt, copy it in its entirety, go right back over to Discord, and all you have to do is Control V as in Victor and Enter twice. Notice I did not have to type in the forward slash imagine because we've had ChatGPT to include that into our prompt. So all 10 of those prompts already have that in there. Now, this design was initially created for a T-shirt, but let's just see what we get if we turn it into a Tumblr design or Tumblr wrap. You can also change up the wording. You don't have to keep it just as is. Beautiful. Beautiful. I really like this one. I really like that one. And inside of Creative Fabrica, guys, you can get your mock-ups for your tumblers. So I've already um, went and downloaded one. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you. We're going to keep adding one to this just to show you how great this um, software is on Creative Fabrica, guys. Hold on one second. Okay, I had to take a sip of water there. But I'm going to show you how you can continue to build on to this. So we're going to take these images that we just created here, and I'm going to upscale this second image. And you always want to open it from the browser before you save. We're going to save it. And I'm just going to throw it into my 930 folder because I haven't started working on my 10 work, 10 one stuff yet. And I'm going to go into Canva. But I got this file that I'm going to be using, guys. I got it from Creative Fabrica. Okay. So again, it started from Creative Fabrica. I'm going to look down and I am going to find my file. Let's see, which one is it? Let's go with this one. All right, I'm going to upload that file that I just, or that image that I just created in, um, that I just created from the Discord server. Let me see where I put it in here. Okay, let's see here. I think it's over here. There it is. We are uploading that to Creative Fabrica. Not Creative Fabrica, to Canva. We just uploaded that image. And this is a file that I got from Creative Fabrica where I can do Tumblr wrap mockups. I can go in and change that background to whatever color I want to use. And look at that. We started out in Creative Fabrica, our one stop shop. We downloaded a file with 130 graphic t shirt designs. It also included your prompt guide so that you can continue to, you know, get more creative with those prompt guides. It gave you exactly every prompt that they used. I showed you how to take that prompt over into Discord, generate art, take that prompt over to ChatGPT, have ChatGPT to create an additional 10 uh, generative art prompts for you. We turned it into 
a uh, tumbler wrap instead of t-shirt but you can you know you can change it however you want to guys but just that easy we did that guys creative fabric is your one-stop shop guys there's no need to have multiple places that you're going to create and put together a t-shirt design a mock-up for a tumbler you can start in creative fabrica and find exactly what you need guys just that easy we just did that all right so the next thing i want to show you is let me get back in here da -da -da -da. let's say that we wanted to use this prompt as a journal or you know we could go ahead and put that in we're going to change that aspect ratio to 1722 and this is the work that just keeps on giving from Creative Fabrica and the 130 prompts that we've been given. And we didn't have to pay anything for it because you have that yearly membership with Creative Fabrica, guys. All right, so now you can tell the difference between your tumbler wrap. You have more of a landscape for your tumbler to wrap around that tumbler. And then we have more of a portrait design here for our journal covers. You can't beat it, guys. Look at that. Okay. Perfect. Perfect. This one is pretty, too. All right, so I just wanted to come on and show you guys that inside of Creative Fabrica, you're going to find a lot of the things that you need without having to um, go to multiple different places. It starts right here in Creative Fabrica. The other thing that I want to show you, and let me just reference here. Um, This was by Artistic Revolution, guys. Artistic Revolution. And when you go to their particular um, site here in Creative Fabrica, they have some great work out here. Really great work out here. Already put together for you. Christmas is coming, guys. Look at all this stuff you can get for free. Okay. So I just wanted to show you that and there's one other thing before I get out of here. Look at that. That is beautiful. I love that. I love color guys. I'm one of those vibrant color people. Um, but there is also a um, another artist that I wanted to introduce you to from Creative Fabrica. Hope I spelled that right. This is Afrocentric Artistry. I'm just going to go to their site on Creative Fabrica. And look at all this work out here, guys. They put together for you. So if you're looking for black women, black children, you know, chibi, cute chibis that's already put together, here it is. How cute is that? How cute is that? And again, you have that yearly membership. You don't have to worry about paying for this file. You just click on download and baby, it's yours. And it comes with the commercial usage license. Okay, so now I can go over to my downloads and um, extract that file. And there it is. Right there. Cute. <laughs> so precious. And the good thing about it, guys, remember I said that Creative Fabrica is where you're going to start, right? That's where your motivation is going to start from. 
you know, but if you're trying to continue to build on, you can do that. So I'm going to go back over to Discord. Now, I'm not sure how large these files are because sometimes Creative Fabric of Files can be pretty large, but we're going to attempt and see what happens. So we're going to do a blend of the images that were created. Just going to see if this will work with, haven't done it in a while. Okay, so these are files that I just downloaded from Creative Fabrica. And now I'm blending two of those images together inside of Midjourney's Discord server. And we're going to generate even more art. But we started from Creative Fabrica. So now I've shown you that by accessing Creative Fabrica, guys, Creative Fabrica has files that's going to be created where you'll need Canva access, where you can get access to those templates like the Tumblr wrap. You can also get your graphics, bring those graphics over into Discord um, and blend them together to create additional images. How cute is that? So now I have shown you another way that you can get more inspiration from Creative Fabrica. You can actually take these images, guys, in addition to using that blend prompt. Look how cute they, those are. Okay, so you can also take those guys and I'm going to show you here. You can use those prompts or those images. I'm going to do this. I'm going to upscale these. And I'm going to show you how you continue to build on. Guys, the possibilities are endless utilizing Creative Fabrica. I think that most people get stuck on the fact that they purchased a membership and they're not really sure how to make the membership work for them. I'm showing you how you can get the bang for your buck right here in this one video tutorial. OK, so what we're going to do is we're going to now use those images that we got from Creative Fabrica. Because remember, it comes with a commercial license. You can use those images, you know, based on that commercial license. You can continue to build on those. Right. So what we're going to do now is I'm going to take this image and I'm going to right click and I'm going to copy the image address. Now, notice I'm using forward slash imagine. I'm going to paste that address in. And then I'm going to take out everything past P and G. OK, so we're going to get that question mark. We're going to delete. I'm going to put a comma right there and then I'm going to go up, click on the image, right click and copy the next image address. I'm going to go back down and control V, paste that in, take out anything past the P and G and delete it. Now we can put a comma there and we're going to say um, vibrant colors and let's see, um, center comp composition. And we're going to say um, aspect ratio four to five. And let's add a little style on there. We'll go 250. And let's see what we get. I think I typed my style in wrong. I didn't put a, a space in there. That's a good thing about Discord. It's going to tell you exactly what you did. So you can go in and fix it. There we go. So we just took those two images that we got from Creative Fabrica from that file for free because you have that yearly membership, right? And I showed you how to blend two of those images together to make four new images. And now you did that with the forward slash blend. Now I'm showing you how to take the forward slash imagine, copy the image address from those images and create four different images.
and you would never know that I started from Creative Fabrica and that I started from, let's take a look here, this. <laughs> okay. Use those images to take me to get these images. Perfect for graphic design, perfect vector images for a t-shirt mock-up for a little girl. All right, so that is taking you guys to show you how, I mean, if you just take one day, guys, and really play around in Creative Fabrica, trust, believe, you will have paid for your membership, that yearly membership in no time. You will have gotten your money's worth, okay? So we're going to go back now. We have used now... I've shown you a file that has from Afrocentric Artistry that has all of your African-American type art in here. You can continue to build on to their work, guys, if you need some inspiration. I'm showing you how you can get it. Okay, so we're going to go back here now. So I've shown you two designers inside of Creative Fabrica that has really great work, guys, that you can follow them. Okay. When you're in Creative Fabrica and you find an artist's work that you like, you want to make sure that you, um, I'm going to click on one of these. You want to make sure that you're out here. If you've used their files, guys, come back and give them a review to help them out. And in addition to that, once you um, get to... I'm trying to get back to my, there it is. Um, I'm following this designer. But once you find a designer out here that you like their work, guys, once you're on that download folder, all you have to do is come down here and it's going to have a follow button. Just click on follow. And then you're going to be notified anytime that artist, that graphic designer, anytime they upload anything into Creative Fabrica, you're going to be notified of it so that you can come out and see, you know, what great work they have um, created. But again, going back to our t-shirt, and I'm just going back up to the search field and just type in t-shirt. Okay, look at this one. When you're having a problem with, you know, what should I put on this t-shirt? Man, look at here. It's already been done for you. May your coffee be stronger than your daughter's attitudes. <laughs> I'm not trying to be difficult. It just comes naturally. Oh my God, I love this file already. Already. And it's just got downloaded. And just that simple, I'm going to go to my downloads folder. And I'm going to unzip this file. And now take a look at this. Got a t shirt bundle. I forgot to click on it. Let's go with this PNG. All I got to do is go right into Silhouette Studio, Cricut Design Space. My design is complete. I'm go ahead and pop that on the t-shirt and I'm good to go, right? So let's take a look here. We're going to go to Cricut Design Space. You guys didn't know when you watched this video tutorial that you were going to get this much knowledge, right? Yeah, I got to help you guys understand that you're wasting money if you're going and purchasing all these different programs to generate all the stuff that you can do right from Creative Fabrica. All right, we're going to upload and upload, browse, and we're going to go back to my download folder and we're going to grab up that file that we just unzipped. I don't know when I made this thing so little. Okay, here we go. Do, 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 do. All right, come, come now. I think it's towards the bottom. Let's just do funny. I think it said funny. All right, here we go. 
So we're going to take this SVG file. There it is. Click it right into Cricut Design Space. All the work has been done for us. All we need to do is iron this on the t-shirt and go on about our business. Okay, we didn't have to design anything. Okay, you can change up the colors on that. Uh, let's go back. Cancel. Just by going to color and you can change up those colors on it. Okay, so we got that file from Creative Fabrica, one-stop shop. All right, so guys, the possibilities are endless inside of Creative Fabrica. Um, again, don't forget to, you know, show some love and support for these um, artists out here, guys. Look, they have a score of 5.0 based on 28 reviews. All right, so this is definitely somebody that you want to make sure you are following this designer. So I'm going to go ahead and follow. And if you want to see Pixel Cat's work, just click on View Profile. And it's going to show you all the files that they have out here. Okay, so when you see one image that you like of an artist, all you have to do is go and look at that artist's page on Creative Fabrica. And if you like their overall overall work, go ahead and follow them. Okay. Oh, I love this one. I love that one. Grow in faith. Download. Okay. You guys haven't seen me have to pay for anything that I have clicked on just in this video tutorial. Everything I've clicked on has been free because I have the yearly membership. Look how many favorite uh, times this person's work has been favorited. This is someone to follow, guys. Pixel Cat on Creative Fabrica. Christmas, Christmas, Christmas coming. Look at these designs that's already been put together for your wraps. And wraps are all the rave right now, guys. Humbler wraps. This is a mug wrap. Cute. Cute, cute, cute. Hey guys, print on demand. I'm going to show you how easy. I'm going to download that file. I think it's beautiful. I think it would be a top seller. And we're going to extract it. Now we have that file. Beautiful. All right, so what we're going to do is I have that in my downloads. I'm going to do this, and this will be the last thing that I'm going to show you because I don't want to overwhelm you, but I just want to show you guys how great Creative Fabrica is and all the artists that put forth hard effort to create for you, to take it out, take that hard work out for you guys. If you're not a graphic designer, you're not into, well, what should I say on this t-shirt? You know. Uh, how can I design this? They've taken the guesswork out for you guys. They've already did it. You, If you pay for that yearly membership, or if you haven't, this is why you should pay for that yearly membership with Creative Fabrica. All right, so I'm going to go over to Printify. Um, and this is, you can use a print-on-demand company, guys, if you're trying to get started with selling your merchandise. Um, all these graphic images that you're creating in mid-journey and you're you know, using Creative Fabrica guys, then you can actually get a print on demand company so that you don't have to worry about any inventory. You don't have to have a printer. You don't have to have um, a heat press. You don't have to have t-shirts in all different sizes because you're going to use a print on demand company. And you can see all the different merchandise. I'm going to just scroll down here. But you can see all the different merchandise that with this particular print-on-demand company. Uh, let's go to women's clothing. Hoodies. You can actually design out any of these items, guys, and start selling them with your images on them, your work on them. Okay. So since we downloaded that mug, I'm going to go back to catalog. And I'm going to go to 
Let's see if it's under featured product. Let's see if they got a mug out here. All right, best sellers. Definitely got to be one out here. There we go. So we got this ceramic mug, 11 ounces. I'm just going to click on Start Designing. I'm going to take that design that I just took from Creative Fabrica. And let me just grab it up. I might have, oops, I just saw it. Look at that. And then you can preview it. Because remember, they've already done the work for you. They've already sized it. You saw how that file came in. It came in already sized out where I didn't have to do anything. It came right onto the mug just like it should, okay? preview because it's already a mug wrap look at that now you got your mock-up that you can send um off put it on your etsy you know send it to your customer just to show them what that will look like on the coffee mug and if you're using print on demand you don't have to i'm going to save this project or product you don't have to have any inventory because you're using print on demand. So print on uh, Printify is one. They have Printful. They have Gelato. Hopefully I'm saying that name correctly, but just Google print on demand. I would highly recommend if you're interested in print on demand to go with a print on demand company that offers, um, if you're in the U.S., U.S. shipping, because then your items will get to your clients much quicker than if you're using a print on demand or a supplier that is overseas somewhere, okay? Because then that's going to increase the wait time for your clients and you know our clients don't like to wait, right? They want it yesterday. But where did I start? I started in Creative Fabrica. That's where I started, Creative Fabrica. I keep telling you guys, it's your one-stop shop. It really is your one-stop shop, guys. It all started in Creative Fabrica, you know? I can take that image, I can take it into Discord, I can change it up however I, I like to change it up, you know, I can take it into Canva to do additional mock-ups, you know, go to your print-on-demand, I'm just trying to show you that it's well worth the money spent to get a Creative Fabrica yearly membership, it's the membership that keeps on giving, it's the one-stop shop, guys, it is truly the one-stop shop. All right. I just show, showed you instead of having to pay someone for a prompt guide, how you can get a mid journey prompt guide right from Creative Fabrica. In addition to the prompt guide, it came with all the images that are ready to go ahead and be placed onto a T-shirt. Ready to go, guys. Ready to go. OK, so hopefully that helps you guys to truly understand Creative Fabrica. Normally, you know, I'll do one little project in Creative Fabrica, but I thought that this would be a good time because because we're getting ready to go into the holiday season, guys. The holiday season, the time is to start now, not in November. OK, and definitely not in December. You should be gearing up right now for the holiday season. And I just showed you the perfect purchase, Creative Fabrica's yearly membership. OK, because that's going to get you access to everything you need to be successful for Christmas. It's the gift that keeps on giving. <laughs> All right. All right, guys, hopefully that has been helpful um, to you. And like I said, you even have access to your um AI art here. Your CF Spark now comes with your yearly um, subscription for Creative Fabrica. So it's not an additional fee. It used to be $9 in addition to what you would pay for the member, the um, membership with Creative Fabrica, but now it's all inclusive. Okay. So you can come out here and you can generate, you know, AI art without having to pay for um, another, you know, software, so to speak. So here's some of the work that I have created. 
inside of their AI software. Okay. And you can do it too, guys. And also you can follow me on uh, Creative Fabrica. All right. I have 792 followers. Let's go ahead and get it to a thousand. <laughs> All right, guys. Um, but that's it. That's my story. I'm sticking to it. Hey, guys, if you are in my Facebook group, I want to thank you guys so much for being a part of my Facebook group, Candoris's Cricket and Creative Crafters. Um, if you would like to join my Facebook group, all you have to do is click the link in the description for my um, group, Candoris's Cricket and Creative Crafters, and agree to the Facebook group rules, guys. If you don't agree, if you don't respond to the questions that's being asked, then you're um, not going to be able to get into the group, okay? Because it is a private group. And we'll get you in as long as you agree to the Facebook group rules because we want to make sure that we're not dealing with any bots, any spam, and see a spam. Spam? <laughs> Must be hungry. <laughs> any scammers out there guys so you do have to agree to the facebook group rules all right and then if you're currently following me via youtube you're sub subscribed to my youtube channel i want to thank you guys so much for following me and if you are seeing my video tutorials for the first time and you didn't know i existed but now you do <laughs> then go ahead and hit that um, subscribe button and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I have over 500 video tutorials on all types of crafts on my YouTube channel, not just um, not just Creative Fabrica guys. Um, so I'm going to bring up my YouTube just really quickly because I want you guys to understand that when you go to my channel, there is a playlist to help you find things easy. So this is my YouTube channel and I don't want her to start talking. <laughs> but you can see I have 513 videos out here. Um, this is my YouTube channel. And when you go to YouTube, guys, to my YouTube channel, um, there's a playlist. And so when I'm creating um, these different tutorials, I try to place them in a bucket, you know, to help you to understand where you can find things. So if you're looking for Mid Journey, if you're looking for stuff on Creative Fabrica, rhinestones silhouette cameo cricut design space microsoft powerpoint hey don't sleep on microsoft powerpoint okay i'm going to show you here all these videos that i have created um the videos that i have created using microsoft powerpoint to show you that you can use microsoft powerpoint in your crafting needs as well so these videos here all are related to utilizing microsoft powerpoint okay so we have a playlist out there guys to kind of help you or i have a playlist out there to help you guys to find things much easier okay um crafting tutorials at one time i was doing my nails and showing people how to do their nails believe it or not and uh so yeah so sublimation projects alert messages in cricut design space um, Playground AI, another AI software, DTF hacks, guys. Hey, all the rave and even 3D crafts. So check out my playlist. Please like, share, and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't done so already. And hey, guys, when you're watching my video tutorials, if you learn anything or you find any benefit in that tutorial, then please, please, please just take and just hit like, okay? That will certainly help me on my YouTube uh content creator journey okay all right guys that's it that's my story i'm sticking to it and you guys know my motto is each one reach one so that each one can teach one and you guys have an amazing day bye